Morning class, we're going to get right to our Bible passage this morning from the New Testament, Paul's letter to the young pastor Timothy. And he writes to him, 1 Timothy 4, verse 12, Let no one look down on your youthfulness, but rather in speech, conduct, love, faith, and purity, show yourself an example of those who believe. So here's Paul writing to this young pastor, a young man, and telling him he's to be an example of the faith. Uh, this is God's word to, to you this morning. When we think of how uh, counter that is to the world's thinking, they would say, well, young people can't be examples of the faith. They've got to get a little older, more mature, know more about these things. But that's not how God thinks. God um, says that you can and you should, as a young person, actually be an example of the faith. Paul mentions particular areas to be an example in speech. We know Jesus told us in Luke chapter 6 that our words uh, flow out of our hearts and that uh, our speech actually indicates how healthy our hearts are with God. And Ephesians 4 tells us that uh, it should be wholesome things that come out of our mouths, things that build others up, things that are true. Our speech also includes things that we um, actually shouldn't say. And so the Christian is one who should not be a gossip, who should... Uh, should not be slandering or lying. And so as you go about your day today, just remember that what you say or don't say says something about the faith and something about your standing in the faith. Paul mentions conduct next, and the Bible um, echoes itself all over. Proverbs 20, speaking to young people, of young people, that even a child makes himself known by his actions, whether his conduct is pure and right. Um, Actions speak louder than words, so the person who says they're a Christian with their mouth but doesn't live that with their life, we have a word for that person, the hypocrite, and we don't want to be that. Paul's call is not to hypocrisy, but actually to be an example of godly conduct. We're to be an example in love, and God defines love in 1 Corinthians 13, verse 4, and tells us that it's patient, that it's kind. It's never jealous. It rejoices with the truth. Ultimately, Jesus said that love is laying down our lives for others as he did. And so as young people, uh, the world would say, well, live for yourself. Think about yourself. And God comes and says, no, think of others. Lay down your lives for them. And to be an example as the Lord Jesus was himself. Faith is the next area. Hebrews 11 tells us that um, faith is an assurance of things that we're hoping for from God that he's promised and in a conviction of things that are not seen. As Christians we we live so much by things that are unseen. The world looks at us and thinks we're weird and strange. We believe in a God we can't see and in promises that haven't fully been fulfilled yet. Um, but we don't mind if they call us strange. We mustn't mind. Um, but on the contrary we should be examples of living this way, of, of trusting in the God that we cannot see and in his promises that are sure. Lastly, Paul mentions purity. He says something similar in 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 3, that it's God's will that we be sanctified. That is, that we would abstain from sexual immorality. The word Paul uses in the Greek there has to do with chastity, with uh, even virginity. And so the call to you as young people from God is to be pure. And what a challenge that is in an impure world. Um, this is going to mean choices on your part, uh, not being alone with uh, members of the opposite sex, being very careful about what you watch and read and listen to, finding other friends who want to be pure, holding each other accountable. Well, how are we going to be an example of the faith in speech and in conduct and love, faith and purity, only by God's grace? We've got to pray with David as he did in Psalm 139, verses 23 and 24, asking God to search his heart and to know him, to show him if there would be any hurtful way in him. We can't be Christians. We can't be exemplary Christians apart from God's grace. May he give it to you, to me today. Have a good day.